Ryu, crouching medium kick to Hadoken is easier to do, aka simple command Shoryuken won't activate when walking forward. Also, Ultra 2 has one frame more invincibility. Period. <laughs> we... People ask questions, Kim basically said it look, everything looks the same. Yeah. yeah, same as AE2012, basically across the board. So not really much different for Ryu. Yeah, I mean, I heard that they were going to make low forward Hadouken a better, like, a, e- easier to be a true block string. That's what I'd heard, but too. Kim said at max range it still wasn't, so... Whereas uh, Evil Ryu's Scratchy Medium Kick, which already was a block string to fireball, has an extra frame of block, of block stun now. For whatever reason. Oh, Sagat. Far standing short, second hit, now special cancelable. Mm-hmm. That's nice. And That's I also really heard good. it combos into Tiger Shot like at max range. It combos like, into it. Yeah. Really? That's, I, I saw so, a tweet about that. I don't remember. Okay. That. Tiger Knee first hit forces stand. EX Tiger Knee changed from minus one to zero on block. Oh, man. That minus one was like why Zangief had a chance. <laughs> That's oh, right. 720. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, that's it's right. gone. That sucks. Why would you do that? It, on minus one, it was already really freaking good. Right? It was already really good. Ultra one forward movement reduced. When hitting an air opponent in the corner, it now does full hit. That is huge. Yep. You get a lot of damage out of that. And now, not only that, you don't push him out of the corner anymore. Right, yeah. He gets cornered right now, and he's not going to an ultra after his own ultra. Oh, uh, that's really good. Those are great changes for him. Tiger Cannon Ultra 2 now does full hits on air opponents. So he just is a better character, man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I think Sagat is going to be super scary. Now. Yep. He's not a bad character as he is right now. Nope. But he's better in the in the mid-range game. His stand short, second hit it being cancelable. I mean, that's that's a vulnerable spot for him in a lot of uh-huh. matchups, where that stand short hits. Now that he can cancel after that, I really feel like that's a big deal for him. Yeah, it's going to be so much easier to push people away. In fact, I think the Sagat Zangief match might be one of the worst oh, that it's ups. ever been. It l- will be the worst it's ever yeah, been. Yeah. There's no uh-huh. doubt in my opinion. Um, Sakura, far standing medium punch hitbox. Expanded forward slightly. Diagonal jump, HP, hurt box, slightly increased. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. Worst jump fears. Light punch, uh, hurricane kick, light hole, short hurricane kick. Changed from zero to minus one on block. Okay. EX hurricane changed from plus four to plus two on block. And made easier to connect on crouching opponents. Okay. Uh, Shoukan hitbox, slightly expanded forward. Forward? <laughs> okay. Um, EX Sakura Otoshi, earliest timing for additional attacks reduced from 14 frames to 11 frames. I don't know if that addresses so that means, some issue. So basically, after the EX Hurricane, sometimes it was hard to get the punch on them because you had to do it as fast as possible. I think it just makes it easier to get them because now you can do it 11 frames into the move instead of 14 frames into the move. Okie doke. So, yeah. Shinko Hurokin, rear hitbox removed. That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's nice. So she has a worse jump fierce. Mm-hmm. Her light kick hurricane is minus one instead of zero, so she can get 720, I guess. But for most matchups, it's, you know, slightly worse. She can't press buttons quite with with the impunity that she currently does. Uh, EX hurricane kick, plus four, which is a tight block string from EX hurricane to stand short now, but it won't be in the future. Yeah, so she has no true block string after right. it now. Which yeah. is nice. But nice for her that it connects on on crouching opponents. Her dragon punch for some reason goes forward farther. I guess they just didn't want it to miss at Why? max, max, max low Dude. forward into uppercut. Yeah. Right? So. Okay, so she seems like she is uh, pretty much a better character with the exception of Jump Fierce. Yeah. There's still one change that you know. I really, really want them to implement. I really, really want Fierce Uppercut to have two more frames of delay. So she can't do Ultra? So she cannot do Ultra in the corner. Because it's... Yeah. She's one of the only characters that gets a free ultra on almost no, on basically no meter. Yeah. Right? And I don't know, especially with that low forward, he could firm you. into fierce uppercut. I bet you that was not intended. And so I would like Probably. them to get rid of that. And putting more recovery frames on fierce uppercut, I mean, if you block it or whatever like that, you're going to kill her anyway. So it's not like it's going to be huge. So Ibuki can anti air Sakura jump fierce with back medium punch. Rose can anti-air it too. This is what Kim is saying. Mm-hmm. Um, Cami now gets f- hit fully by all the hits of EX Hurricane when she's crouching. Okay. You can still do Rofflecopter Escape. That's fine. Otoshi times two is still a hard knockdown. Everything else seems like it's the same. 
Yeah, I don't. Tattoo loops are still intact. I so. don't feel like she's that much worse. It's just it's basically the jump fierce thing. Yeah. That yeah. and and the you know worse block strings, but that's whatever. Oh, oh well. Okay, Seth. Seth. Triangle jump movement distance reduced. And not only was it reduced, but Kim says it just looks pathetic. Yeah. Now. He says there's some. It just looks sad. Yeah. Now. So yeah. Um, diagonal jump medium kick now crosses up. Diagonal jump roundhouse no longer crosses up. Back jump fierce uh, has the stretchy hands like in super. Now in super that was neutral jump too, but this says back jump only. Or no, it doesn't say only, but it just says back jump fierce. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So hopefully it is just the back jump as yeah, you know, so I, well, not really hopefully, neutral. but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, recovery okay. on hit and block increased by seven frames. So it's not not very safe. Uh, Pogo active frames increased from three frames to four. Uh, dive kick hurt box slightly expanded. Medium kick legs stun reduced from 150 to 100 and roundhouse from 200 to 150. Medium and fierce Shoryukens can now only be FADC'd on first hit, mm -hmm. and invincibility time reduced from 7 frames to 5 frames. His wow. medium punch, dragon punch, and fierce for 7 frames invincibility. Get out of here. It's stupid. <laughs> uh, all versions of spinning pile driver stun reduced from 200 to 150. This should just been put to zero. I still think it should have been put to zero. Uh, Ultra 1 recovery reduced from 66 frames to 55. Hitbox expanded upward. Wow, they made it way better than... He yeah. recovers faster and and it'll hit people jumping higher than currently wow, does. Okay. A lot of okay, a lot of people can jump over it, but I wonder will Hakan be able to jump over it? Right, or he currently is like basically just barely there. How high does Ryu and Akuma have to be to do EX Hurricane to stay right. over it now? You know, that's another question. For sure. So. Ultra 2, first hit of damage increased from 24 to 30 and changed from minus 89 to minus 70. On block. <laughs> That's six extra damage. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> hit, you know, it's it's not entirely a blow up. Certainly he does less stun. His dive kick is a little bit worse. Um, his movement is worse because of the triangle jump mm -hmm. being worse. Um, but he has, I don't know. Well, okay. He's basically just a worse character. Let me, I, I don't know why I said he wasn't. He's just worse. But he has a couple more options at least. The stretchy hands jump fierce can be useful in some matchups, definitely. But it moves him backwards. That's but it moves the good him backwards. Thing. So the reason why the neutral jump was so was, was so important is he didn't yeah. lose any ground. Yeah. But now if he's going to be doing it against Zangief, if, if he wants to get the stretching hands, yeah. he has to jump backwards. And Zangief would be like, you know what? Fine, I'll just walk outside your range right. until you get to the corner. And now he can't even escape off the wall anymore. Right. So I actually did, didn't think about the fact that it wasn't on neutral. But like you said, it only says back jump. And yeah. in that case, I think that's a... I think that's perfect. I think that's, that's fine, but everything yeah. else is basically a, him being worse. Jump medium kick crosses up rather than roundhouse, which means that the the block, the stun. block stun is not as yeah. strong as it currently is, mm -hmm. so he probably won't get free block string into crouching whatever right, afterward. Right. Um, which is worse, so he's just a nerfed character. I mean, I don't <laughs> think that he's the best. I don't really know if I think he's top five anymore. He's yeah. like not that far out from that, but he is not the best. Mm -hmm. But his style is annoying and it seems like what they're doing is making him stun less so that you know you have a few more opportunities when he gets the mix-up going mm -hmm. he has worse movement so he can't escape so he has to be you know a little bit i don't know smarter in how he deals with things his wake up is a little bit worse um ultra one sounds like it's better you know that sounds like it's more of a space control thing so the the jump fierce and the ultra one make me think that they want him to be a space control character but i don't know who, I guess we'll see how that plays out. Uh, let's see if any changes from Kim Country. His off-the-wall jump is incredibly short, to the point where you'll think it's a joke. He <laughs> barely goes anywhere when jumping off the wall and doing a dive kick. The normal wall bounce is noticeably different. Wow. Okay. Okay. T-Hawk. Movement speed slightly increased. Close standing fierce push, push back on hit and block reduced. Hmm. Far standing roundhouse hurt box slightly expanded. Hurt box expanded. Changed from minus seven to minus two on block. That's pretty good though. That's it could nice. be good depending on on how they did it. Does it do more block stun or does it have fewer frames of recovery? I think it does less block stun. Usually when it has more recovery, they actually say yeah. that the move has changed. So if it had less recovery, I'd be happy about that. But I don't think this is very important as it yeah. is. Uh, crouching medium kick is special cancelable. 
uh, thrust peak com- command change from. It's just from, not too bad having crouch medium kick. I mean, it's just like it's fine. It's just not anything that helps them that much. It combos into the the condor spire at close at further ranges than the other ones, doesn't it? It does not combo into spire at all. In no. any at any distance. No. Oh, okay. No, okay. you 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 can do. Crouching medium kick DP at maximum close range, but who cares? You could already do crouching short EX right, DP, right, 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 whatever. Okay. Doesn't it's just it's mildly mi- mildly useful. Okay. Um, the thrust peak, which was down toward jab, is now toward jab. Back jab. Back yeah, I'm sorry yeah, back jab. Uh, Four plus P, come on, get your numbers straight. God. <laughs> um, Condor spire command changed from back. Down. Backwards uppercut. Backwards punch uppercut. Yeah. To forward uppercut plus kick. That's that's one thing that I asked for, and I'm really happy I about that. I actually wanted it to be spin kick with kick, but I'll take uppercut. It's just nice that you're not going to get random actual dragon punch. Yes. Now. That's really useful, that's and it's also useful one. that it's something that is toward rather than yeah. something that's backward because it's much harder to walk toward and react to a fireball with mm-hmm. with reverse yeah. dragon punch ex. Yeah. It's a lot easier to just do forward. Oh. Course of and, EX. and it won't get in the way of SPD codes or anything because right. they just changed the it's button. Kick. So, yeah, yeah. So I, I like that a lot. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a good change. Um, light punch SPD startup. Oh no, Tomahawk Buster it's startup. Uppercut. Reduced, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uppercut. Mm-hmm. Startup reduced from five frames to four. EX. EX. Dragon uppercut. punch is FAD seeable. I probably will never use that. Because um, then basically you need three meters. But I don't understand. Like, why wouldn't you just go up and then dive right? away? Right. Right. I don't so, know. Uh, I guess in the corner. You can cross people up in the corner. Uh, Depending on when you press the follow-up, you cross up or not. Oh, interesting. Okay. But yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, yeah. Jab SPD throw range increased from 1.5 to 1.55. Not quite geef levels, but getting close. Mm-hmm. Ultra 2 command changed from... Uh, backwards yoga flame times 2. Plus punch. To backwards yoga flame times 2. Plus kick. And hitbox slightly expanded forward rather than where it needed to be, which was the behind. <laughs> behind. <laughs> um, the, this, he's not going to be a good character. These are not, these are not useful enough for for him. The cancelable crouching medium kick is the kind of change where if you don't know Hawk, you think that sounds good, right? Like it sounds, it just it sounds like it should I be. It sounded good. It sounds like yeah, it should yeah, be useful, yeah, uh-huh. but it's just not that useful. The way that he plays, he doesn't need. Crouchy meeting pick Spire to maintain pressure. He can already do stand short from about the same distance. He canceled into Spire if he wants to maintain pressure. But Spire kind of sucks for that use. Well, I mean, low forward also causes a little bit more blocks than. Yeah, so it does. But I mean, people can still, you know, back dash, still not dragon a true punch, blo- yeah, whatever it's not you want. A true block string um, still. No it's not what. at a safe range even. You can't combo into stuff. Yeah, I like mean, he, I just, he needs other things. Really, he needs better footsies. Yeah, I really wanted them to give T Hawk a gun. You know, just to I, <laughs> like he he needs he needs better footsies. I wanted his SPDs to be better. I wanted EX dive to be invincible on startup. I wanted him to be able to do dive from jump back like an ST. Right, right. Still have it, it be was, unsafe. Like he, this is not a good character. What I wanted was EX dive to bounce back way shorter. I don't. I I don't think that's good. You don't think that would have done anything? It would have been, it would have helped him a lot. I just don't think it would be like a good game choice. You think he would be broken that way? Or? No, I just think that would be like not very interesting. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so but then it, it becomes it just becomes a free get in then. Yeah. Okay, so you don't like that. I mean, I don't mean it to be like it is in HDR. Mm. I just mean a lot less than the punch one right now. Well, it's already less punishable than the punch one, and it bounces. Oh, the the, the bounce back is greater though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, want yeah. it to be less bounce back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly, exactly. So yeah, I, I, that's just, what I wanted. So I mean, that would be better than any of this business. This is. <laughs> I mean, like to be useful. honest with you, like it's it's hard to think of a way to make him better. I just I want him to have. Better normals, better mm. like if if you press stand roundhouse with him, you're throwing a fireball. That thing, if you jump over it, uh, you have all day to focus punish him. dash through. Focus dash yeah. through is a big deal for uh, uh, people who are playing against him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted better walk speed. I saw a T Hawk match. He walks a little bit faster, but it's mm-hmm. like barely noticeable if you don't play okay. the character. Okay. Um, so claw. He's not not good. Uh, claw. The claw. Okay, let's move on. Mr. Claw. Crouching jab frame advantage increased from plus four to plus five. Mr. That opens things up a lot for him. Crouching fierce active frames increased from two to four frames. 
Down toward Roundhouse, the Cosmic Heal total frames reduce from 32 to 27, and it's plus 2 on hit, point blank. Minus 4 when blocked on second active frame. What? What? On active frames, 3 to 5, block disadvantage decreases by frame. I don't understand. <laughs> Cosmic Heal... Total what? frames reduced, plus two on hit against point play. I don't understand plus two on a hit because you knock them into the air when you hit them with it. Oh no, Cosmic Kill is Cosmic Kill the overhead or is it the? No, it is the. It is. Is this supposed to be the overhead? Do you think is that what you think that it's supposed to say? I don't know because because maybe that would make more sense considering what these changes right, say. Right, because that is the actual. Ki- I think he. I think it means plus two on a hit. On blocking opponents. No, because it says minus four when block on second act. Look, I don't understand this. This doesn't make any sense. It's, what's, what's the chat? Does anybody in the chat know what's going on here? Look, I, I mean, obviously I know that Cosmic Heal is down toward Roundhouse. And it yeah, says yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. it says in here, but it says Cosmic on hit, Heal plus two. down toward Roundhouse. Yeah, on hit, it's way more than plus two. It starts a juggle. Okay? <laughs> So, (laughs) yeah, I think a lot of people are saying that it's supposed to be on block. So first frame will be plus two, but the later frames will not be as good. So at point blank, it's good. But if you do it a little too far away, then it's not as good, which is completely backwards from all of Street Fighter. That's bizarre. Yeah. If that's what that means, that is bizarre. All right. So anyway, uh, all the regular rolls changed from plus two to minus eight on hit. Last hit can no longer be EX, can no longer be FADC. What? Does it mean 2 plus 2 from minus 8? <laughs> What's going on with these? What's going on with this Vega here? I, uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm looking up roll right now. Let's see what it currently <laughs> is. Currently, they're all minus 2 on block and plus 2 on hit. So it says change from plus two to minus eight on hit. It says this thing says minus eight on hit. Okay, don't <laughs> don't don't get mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger, yeah. man. <laughs> oh man. So on minus eight on hit, some characters can do reversal ultra punish. Yeah, so someone posted up right. Sonata posted up the official one which says Blocked cosmic heal is plus two frame advantage if blocked on the first frame, minus four if blocked afterwards, and 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 adjusted for every active frame. So okay, next, so from so active frames two to whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's Let's so only the is. first active frame does longer block stun. And it it has five active frames, and the second one starts minus four. So it's up to zero, I guess, yeah. if you do it at max range, right? <laughs> If I'm reading that correctly. <laughs> Minus eight on hit. Uh, this doesn't make any sense. Like it's just yeah. People in the chat, maybe you mean, or maybe you're right. Maybe it is plus eight and is just. But see, even plus eight is really good then, right? Yeah, plus eight's ridiculous. Plus eight means he links into ultra. And he links into crouch strong, so he'll be able to go off the wall with that, for free. Like he'll be able to link into ultra two after a regular roll, so you can do like. Close, fierce, roll, ultra two. Probably, <laughs> probably not. Okay. <laughs> well, look, I'm just going to keep reading. Cause yeah, no, forget. Jesus, Vega doesn't make any sense. Okay. Medium roll changed from minus two to zero on block. Mask pickup from the ground is now command. Yeah, I heard. Down plus punch Why is punch it a when standing now? over the mask. What is. Um, I don't know. My only guess is sometimes you walk near and it doesn't pick up. Maybe you can force the pickup. Oh. I, don't, I don't know, though. Yeah. Maybe there's more range. Yeah, this is the scary one right here. EX Scarlet Terror, completely invincible from frames 1 to 4. That's the EX Flip Kick, if yes. you don't know, which is really good. Now it's, it's fully invincible. Fully invincible. Fully invincible. Super Combo has an attack added during the motion to the wall and does 50 damage. Didn't it always attack on the no, way to the wall? It just flew to the wall. And oh, the super, the super. Gotcha. I was thinking of the ultra. Yeah, okay. yeah I was thinking of okay. the ultra. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ultra one, bloody high claw. Speaking of, forward charge attacks hitbox expanded yeah, upward. Yeah, makes sense because it missed a lot. But I, I thought I saw that Kim said, "Oh, Vega claw." That's I was looking at Vega. Yeah. Let's go to claw because people I know asked about that. I think somebody asked whether he could anti air with it, and I believe the answer was no. 
Okay. Yeah, let's see now. Answered. Um, oh, okay, that's so... Right. It was all Chris King questions. That's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. So, one thing. Try Vega versus Ryu with Ryu in the corner. Have Vega do crouching medium kick, crouching strong, EX uh, off the wall, EX punch dive, and see if punch dive hits on the way up or whether it whiffs. Right now it whiffs. In 2012 it whiffs. Kim says he couldn't get the link to happen, but um, he's no pro. So, but the EX uh, off the wall did hit on the way up. Hmm, okay. So maybe it's got a little bit better right, hitbox right, right, right. on it. Um, Super pops on the way up. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, let's see. Rolling Vega. crystal flash into super combos into itself. Wow. Okay. Um, Vega versus Ryu. Have opponent jump in with different normals and have Vega attempt to ultra one directly at him on his or her way down, like in cross Tekken, which Vega mm-hmm. can do in that game. It doesn't work. We tried it, and we were able to hit Claw out of the animation. So I think basically it's just not as invincible. That's what he's saying. It wasn't saying that it drops, right? Uh, yeah, it's just getting hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just getting hit. So, And then Ultra 2 startup reduced from 8 frames to 5 frames. Um, I mean, look, I don't know what those changes are. We read half of those changes, and I don't know what <laughs> half of them really mean. So it's hard to say. Really is. But. I think he's gonna be a lot better. Ex Crystal Flash. I mean, Ex Scarlet Terror being real. Wake up now. Yeah, I mean, that is kinda, that is really good. Kind of scary. And uh, and for Ex Punch Dive to hit on the way there, like more either more horizontally or more down. Either mm-hmm. way, those are both really good. Yeah. Uh, um, if Cosmic Heal is better, that's great. If it's not, I'm sorry to hear that. If <laughs> if Roll is minus eight on hit. That's ridiculous. Yeah. If it's plus eight on hit, that's also ridiculous, but just in the opposite way. Yeah. So, uh, whatever. Let's let's move on to Yang. Okay. Uh, movement speed increased a bit. Close stand, medium kick, hitbox expanded downward. Actually, easier. before we do it, you want to take a break, real quick? Yeah, let's take a okay, break. Okay, let's sure. take a break because we're. I think we. It's been like an hour since we've done the break. Or okay. Something like that. So okay, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, thanks for sticking with us on the Tuesday show. We're still talking about Ultra Street Fighter 4 changes and, you know, all the things that we know so far. Before we get on to the and next these character, are not official changes. These are location test changes, so, yeah. Yeah, who knows whether the, any of these will last. 
in the released version. Before we get to Yang, for Vega, I just forgot to mention that with plus five crouching jab, he can now link into Ultra 2, because it's five frame startup on Ultra 2, instead of eight frame startup on Ultra 2. Yes, yeah, so apparently also low forward can link into it, right? Well, low forward can link into Ultra into uh, crouching jab. Um, that's oh, already a thing. See, so what gotcha. you can do, presumably, is walk up, crouching medium kick, crouching jab, and then Ultra 2, because you'll probably have enough time to charge at that point. Yeah, crouching uh, medium kick is also plus five. So if you were charged for it, you could probably do low forward, low... F What's low forward startup? I don't think you can do low forward, low forward. Low forward startup is six. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right, you're right. Yeah, so. But he does nevertheless have link combos into ultra from just basic footsies, so... Yeah, hopefully they change it to plus six startup or something. Ugh. Six startup, so... That's, that's clearly awesome. Yeah. Yang, movement speed slightly increased. Close standing medium kick hitbox expanded downward so it's easier to hit crouching people. Okay, okay. Far standing strong is now special cancelable, super cancelable, etc. Far standing short startup reduced from 5 frames to 4. Uh, crouching short damage increased from 20 to 30. Diagonal jump medium kick crosses up like an AE. Uh, light and medium torzon third hit damage increased from 60 to 65. Fierce <laughs> third hit damage increased from 60 to 70. And Ultra 2 startup reduced from 7 to 6. 6 frame startup on Yang. Uh -huh. Yeah, Try I to mean, find some link combos. I think uh, he was another character. I think Kim said there was a lot of mm, I bet. towards the end. So having the cross-up medium kick kind of brought back a lot of... Because remember in, the, in, in AE, he had a lot of those crazy like forward juggles into... into into, like he would set you up for free juggle standing forward jump cancel and land mm -hmm. cross ups and all that stuff like mm -hmm. that which all went away in 2012 right so now all that stuff is back so Yang is another one of those Sounds potentially good. super strong characters movement now. speed increased is a big thing too as far as Ultra 2 startup being reduced from 7 to 6 frames he already has plus 8 on close jab why doesn't anybody do close jab to Ultra what's the Ultra star oh like it's if it's already so close jab is already plus 8 on hit Ultra 2 startup is... Uh, Six. Right. No, seven. 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 So why isn't that already a thing? Maybe... Maybe it is, and I just never see a Yang player. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That could be. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, Interesting. But anyway. I mean, it might, maybe the stand jab does push him too far away that the first active frame is too close. That'd be weird. Yeah, I know. Because it shouldn't... Because yeah, it's close jab. Yeah, I know. It's not right, far jab so. even. Well, far jab works too, but close jab works. So, I don't know. Anyway, I don't. Some know people are just saying this. you're not confirming. It's hard to confirm into, so it's just not practical. Close strong is plus six, so you should be able to link into plus into ultra two with uh, new Yang. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> um, so he got. He definitely got some buffs. Definitely got some. They buffs. really have to be careful of linking into ultras. Yeah, for sure. If you're gonna take away Cammy's counter hit crouch fears into ultra, right. which was too good already you know i mean counter hits link into ultra is a whole different story. yeah like yeah. when chris did freaking ken close forward kick into ultra right. one which i was like what <laughs> but you know that to me is not as bad but if you can yeah. if, if guys can just sit there and go low jab low jab ultra vega low forward low jab ultra yeah, Blanca crouching medium kick crouching medium kick ultra yeah like... you got to be careful of those you you got to make sure you can't do because the thing about it is the reason why i didn't like cammy's crouch fierce counter hit into ultra is because it was meterless yeah you really have to be careful of the super easy meterless ways the land things Outside of Rufus, because Rufus is that's just how he is. Yeah, so. that he, I mean, I feel like part of his design was that. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so. All right, so Yang sounds pretty good to me. Yun, far standing strong damage increased from 50 to 60. Mm -hmm. Crouching strong damage increased from 50 to 60. That's, and those are basically his hit confirm normals, so his combos do more damage yeah, now. Yeah, that's, that's basically like... what those, That's like his combo. Those are his combo They buttons. nerfed it originally because of... Um, because remember he can do low strong, low strong, stand strong, right? So they nerfed it originally. So I'm I'm curious to see if they brought it back to what it used to be. Uh, roundhouse up kick invincibility time removed, not invincible, I guess. Command grab throw range reduced from 1.1 to one, and then ex command grab throw range reduced from 1.3 to 1.2. So he does a little okay. bit more damage in combos. Doesn't have invincibility on roundhouse up kicks. I guess he has to spend meter. 
and his command grabs are a little less range. Yeah, see, crouching medium punch used to be 60. They okay. took it to 50, and now it's back to 60. So. Okay, well. Yeah. So, again, more damage, a little bit worse wake-up game, a little bit worse command grabs, but this doesn't sound like major stuff to me. He seems like... Yeah, it's, like, mostly the same. And, and to be honest with you, the nerf on the command grab is actually kind of important because of the crazy changes that uh, Rue Apprentice was oh, finding. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, where you could extend the range of it which, so that it grabbed from, like, 7,000 miles away, so... Um... <sighs> People wanted him to test things, but it was, you know, he didn't really know exact setup, so he couldn't get, like, exact cross-up safety on dive kick and whatever else. That doesn't mean right, that it's right, not right, there, right. though. All right, let's get to this guy. My favorite my favorite requests in that document were, please stand in training stage this many blocks away yeah. from the character and see if this will reach. And he's like, dude, there's no it's training an stage in the arcade. <laughs> People don't even know. Yeah. All right, we'll talk about him. Zangief, far standing strong, hurt box expanded. Hurt box in front sticks out one frame before active. Really? Far standing medium kick changed from minus seven to minus three on hit and minus 10 to minus seven on block. That's fine. Um, currently, if Zangief does counter hit, stand medium kick on Guile. Guile can punish with a flash kick. <laughs> been like that since vanilla <laughs> and nobody has ever punished my stand medium kick no that's never at happened any range you mean nobody's oh, done it at any range guile mean? can do it because of the the horizontal range on oh. flash kick yeah i mean it's minus four on counter hit so right, he right. gets it when some other characters don't but that's always been an issue like i said nobody's punished me because they just i guess don't know about it for whatever Dude, who reason who wants but. to believe that you can get counter hit by a standing forward and still punish him it seems it seems weird but you yeah. can do it um anyway but I guess they're going to finally change that so it's minus three on hit. Why don't you just make it zero on hit, folks? I know, right? Like, is it so bad? Anyway, di diagonal jump fierce hurt box expanded. Light, medium, and uh, fierce green hand startup speed reduced you know by two frames. Disadvantage on block reduced by two frames. So, I mean, back to the standing medium kick, it doesn't even sound like they changed the overall frames. It sounds like they actually just changed the hit stud and the block stud. Yeah, right. That's the slowest... Damn poke. Like, yeah. That's the slowest Zangief standing forward has ever been ever. in his entire life. Ever. Like, if they sped it up total, okay, but Ugh. Um, Like I said, uh, all of the regular green hands start up reduced by two frames. This means that none of them can combo from lights. There's no more stand short or stand jab or crouching jab or crouching short canceled into, ja into green hand. None of them combo. Right. Um, EX hand, same deal. None of them combo, or it doesn't combo from lights. 13 frames was originally, now it's 16 frames, which means it only combos from close, strong, and medium kick. Second hit does cause knockdown, which, uh, if you know anything about Geef, sometimes there, there are ranges where the first hit hits and the second one does not. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. they did. They couldn't even give him the knockdown on the hit that hits. Yeah. Like, you couldn't and even then, do that. And then, and then pile driver throw range reduced from 1.75 to 1.6. He's the most nerfed character in this game. And he's a mid-tier character. He's fine in the current version. He's a mid-tier character. And they blew him up. Look at this thing. His, <laughs> his stand strong is worse. His jump fierce is worse. He can't combo into any green hands. Uh, even, even the knockdown on EX hand is nice, but it's the second hit instead of the first. Why didn't you just give him that? And the fierce pile driver, or the jab pile driver, has worse throw range. It's just entirely worse. He shouldn't have made his jab green hand sense. hit, and then he should just pull back to where he started from so you can combo into it and gain nothing out of it. So. <laughs> When I when I did that that post on um, you know remember on Capcom Community they asked you know what do you want to mm -hmm, see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what I said was I want to see Ex Hand not be comboable from any lights but I want it to knock down in turn as like recompense I wanted Jab Green Hand to not, uh, to combo to to combo it already combos from from mm -hmm. lights but I wanted it to be safe on hit not safe on block because it doesn't need to be right, but right, safe right. on hit. And to so also like minus do minus two or something like that. No, not minus two because then he can get punished. But like zero, on on hit. Okay. Okay. Um, so that he doesn't get boned afterward. But right. you know, useful, uh, and have a little bit more range so he can combo it consistently, like with Ex Hand. But also to leave him farther away, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so he yeah, does yeah. he can't like do BS, right? Right. 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 right um, right. But what it sounds like they did was they took that idea and they said, how can we take this idea and make it the worst possible? <laughs> How can we make this idea into a terrible one? And that's what they did. 
They made it so they've, they, they've they been can't wa- combo into anything. They've been watching too much Wednesday night fights. They're like, wow, Zangief keeps winning every week. Yeah. Let's let's completely destroy this character. Oh, man. One Zangief player out of the five years of this game has ever like <laughs> won or gotten top... Th- uh, <laughs> won a major and gotten consistent right, wins. Right. Like, uh, he's the only one. So I, I don't even know if that's what they're looking for. This This is one of the things that makes me think, again, that this is a stress test. How does the game work and how do the other matchups work how do the characters work if geef is terrible like does that make guy more viable for example right, like you right. could, you know you have these tests throughout the bouncing of a game like i would be really surprised if they kept all these nerfs for geef because they make him a terrible character you know it's not even like they make him a bad character that's all of his good stuff is nerfed so i don't think that that's gonna stick that is my theory on it anyway. Um, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about, uh, about the new characters. New characters, yeah. Uh, maybe not a ton of, of stuff, but... Uh, let's see, let's start at the bottom. Blah, blah, blah. Who's first? Is uh, it Hugo? No, first one will be Elena. Elena, that's right, that's right. Let's get impressions from Kim on Elena. Go um, ahead and read those for a second. I'll be right back. Yeah, you go. Help your cats. No, he's crawling into your bag, and I just want to make sure he's not oh. in your bag. So. Oh, okay. That sounds good. I can I can agree with that. Uh, as far as Elena, slides seem strong. Her overheads are super fast. There are videos now. If you uh, haven't seen them, you can go check them out. Her her mount smash seems really, really fast. Uh, her jump is pretty slow. Oh, even even the special move overhead is really fast. Huh? Right? Isn't that mallet? Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah, it's super I fast. Th- I thought they were just talking about like toward no, medium dude, and like, toward strong. No, it's really fast. It's like weird looking how fast it is. Huh. Um, yeah, he says her EX overhead is ridiculously fast. Her focus attack floats. She feels a little bit like Sakura. Really? That seems weird. Um, she feels like a character who's strong at controlling the match. Yeah, um, he was saying like the EX uppercut like throws the opponent like super high into the sky or right like that. oh yeah yeah if you hit the axdp you knock them all the way to the top uh, her slide is good strong footsie game her ultra one is brave dance ultra two is healing so she can heal up after having taken gray damage or you know just building up an ultra which right. is really good i mean it's so funny when we were first talking about it, i was like healing has to be the super because it would be stupid if it was the ultra that you gain life back by the thing that you get from taking damage I do, I hear you. It does seem weird. Seems very weird. It does seem weird. Healing increases the longer you hold buttons, may restore nearly 50% life. Sweep goes under fireballs. Again, there are videos, so you don't just have to listen to us on this. You can, you can see the character in action. She looks uh, pretty interesting. Hugo is the one who is next. He's so big, it's just impossible. The only combo... <laughs> that's, that's from Rio. The only combo I knew was crouching short into EX Lariat. You can land crouching jab a lot. Stand medium kick is an overhead. Yeah. His normals are so heavy and slow that he doesn't have many use you can think of. Oh, he doesn't have many you can use, I think. He's (laughs) just too big. There was a test that I wanted him to try and I forgot. I just wanted to see if Hakan could jump over Hugo. Yeah, that actually is a good question. (laughs) Can he jump over a standing Hugo? That's a good question. (laughs) Z says he feels clunky with little mobility. And then Kim says he can't cancel crouching MP. That was one of my questions. Right. His walk speed is similar. Because he can do that in cross second. His walk speed is similar to Makoto's. Monster Lariat is punishable, obviously. Monster Lariat breaks armor. Body press is active longer than most jump attacks. But Kim didn't really play cross second, so he can't right, right, you know, really uh, give a good explanation as to how it relates. Um, see any other things that he answered about? Uh, Hugo. My, my question to him on Hugo was, <laughs> how terrible is he? And don't say not terrible, because I know he's going to be terrible. <laughs> and he says, uh, actually, he looks good. Scary to jump away from him. So that's that's Kim's take, I guess, on Hugo. Yeah. He's, he looks pretty good. So the anti-air is his ultra, right? So his ultras are 720 mm-hmm. and anti-air. Okay, so Hammer, like every hammer Frenzy is a super yeah. then. Okay. That, that kind of bums me out. I was hoping that they would have... Uh, you know, just different ultras than every other right, grappler. Right. Cause, but apparently you can do ultra throw, you know, the wall bounce grab, mm-hmm. into ultra two. Right, right. That makes me think that it might be a hit rather than a grab. It, hmm, that's actually a really good point. I'm so what, what, I'm, what I'm wondering is whether he can maybe get Lariat into ultra two in some way. 
I, I forgot to ask whether Lariat pops up like it does in Cross Tekken right. for, for juggles. Well, so here's the thing, right? So. There are things that give free juggles. So I'm going to guess that the off the wall is, is, a, is a free juggle. And that's why the Ultra can connect. Could be. So um, it probably has no juggle potential. I'm going to guess the Ultra Could has be. no juggle potential. Well, so. that's, that's what I expect. I expect it to not have yeah, juggle yeah, potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, I guess we'll see when... When we get our own hands on yeah. the game. His, but, his, but it really is a good question if it's a hit or if it's a yeah. throw. Because, well, here's a question. If Goken does the, the, the demon flip into the punch, yeah. what happens when Rose tries? Rose is a throw, right? But it can juggle, so it's kind of a hit. But I don't... I Wait, don't, what's throw? For the, Ultra 1? Soul throw. Oh, soul throw. Soul throw, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a grab, right? So... Like, if, if Geef does Ultra 2 against that, that move, he just wins. He grabs Goken out of it. Right, uh-huh, exactly. Yeah. But she can juggle, but only off of the free juggles, right? So, mm. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. probably going to be very similar to that move. Yeah, so, uh, I can yeah. see that. I can see that. Yeah. Uh, frame advantage on blocked clap. You can combo after it with crouching medium kick, so it's, you know, plus something good, he yeah. says. And, uh, yeah, so his launcher looks like his stand medium punch, according to Ken. His, so, uh, you mean arm, the, the focus attack? His tech. focus attack, yeah. so yeah, not, not launcher. I just think it would have been funnier if, um... Because <laughs> in Second Impact, you could mash jabs into Super, like, for free, into Hammer Frenzy. It was, like, five jabs into Super. It was so stupid, but... Anyway. Yeah, I, I wish that we could have done Clap FADC or Lariat FADC Hammer well, Mountain. Thing but... is, I don't even know if you need Clap FADC, because Clap basically has no recovery already, right? Yeah. So... Lariat FADC and Ultra 2 would be pretty cool. I would love to see that. I just, I want to have some differentiation between Hugo and Geef Hawk. Right. And it doesn't sound like there's a ton right now, so that's, that would yeah. be nice. Basically, what, the, you know what would be really cool if they did with Hugo? Is if they really just made it so that his fierce SPD did like a third of your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just make him the extreme version of the grappler again. Really hard to get in, but then every time you get that in there, you know. Well, people did say that he has good corner control because he has like really good EX anti-air mm -hmm. grab. Right. It's, you know, beats everything, so you can't jump out easily against right, him. Right. And he has, you know, so he has that going for him at least. He should all, dude. They should also just give him a parry. Like you hit three kicks and he just like nah. does a chest. Bump. I wonder if he has down down medium kick like he does from cross tech, oh, yeah, huh. which was. Uh, Airborne on frame one. That's right, that's right. That'd be kind of cool. Mm. I forgot to ask about that. Okay, okay. Uh, poison. Oreo tried Poison out. He says her jump is floaty. Her Rekka won't connect from the tip Dude, of Crouchy Medium Kick. From all the videos I saw, like, all the new characters look super floaty to yeah, me. Yeah, me like, too. It looked really weird. Me too. Yeah. Crouching Light Kick into weak Rekka will connect. Uh, FADC connects into full Ultra 1. EX Rekka, and I also know EX... Yeah, EX Rekka can be followed up by weak DP... Crouching medium kick, stand medium kick are cancelable. You can land crouching light kick from her flip kick. You know, the little, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. little the jump shoot. forward thingy. Yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, anyway. So crouching medium kick has good distance and is cancelable, says Z. Ultra 2 is a command grab. Uh, yeah, let's see if Kim has anything else to say about poison. Did I already get there? No. Poison. How much range does her DP have? Basically none, but it does hit like both sides as okay. she gets up, so that's good. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. And Kim says he thinks that she's going to be good. She has the tools. There's a gap in her recas, though. There's that. On block, maybe, so you can mash uppercuts. I'm guessing that's what that means. Yeah. And he again, he, he didn't really play cross tech, and so he mm -hmm. can't make good comparisons. Rolento. Crouching medium kick is really short, dude. Have you seen the video? <laughs> it's really short. <laughs> really? It's like weird how short it is. That's kind about of the weird. same as Rufus uh, or so. Ew. Mm -hmm. Stinger lacks. Uh, Stinger feels lackluster. First rep of Patriot Circle seems to be like minus two or three. Uh, Light punch seems strong as always. Uh, like I said, his jump just looks so floaty. I know he can do ex. Uh, Patriot Circle into Ultra. Oh yeah, I saw, I saw that. that. I saw, I saw that. that. Yeah, so, yeah. Again, there are videos. Um, dude, it was it was weird to me, like seeing his his medium kick. There's one point in the video where the Rolento does like jump back, maybe fierce or roundhouse or something, uh -huh. and then like tries, and the opponent like walked up, and so the, the opponent blocked, and he's like crouching medium kick, and it whiffs. 
<laughs> it's really weird looking. Really mm. weird looking. And Kim seems like he's not happy about it because Kim played Rolento in CBS oh, 2. He was one of the best Rolentos in, yeah. in America in CBS 2. Yeah. And apparently his off the walls don't go high at all. Like it's just like, and then just comes right off of it. Right. So he can't go over anything. Right. He doesn't so, have scouter jump. Which one's the scouter jump? The little, where, where you press like... Oh, the like three kicks, kick, kick, right? Kick, or, yeah, yeah, where it just launched him. Oh, yeah. so he can't do low forward in the scouter jump right. like he could in other games, yeah. Right, okay. so just he has less mobility than, than in CBS 2, for example. Ugh, this, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't sound, sound very, very good, good. Right now, right? No. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, with characters like Makoto, uh, Dudley... And Ibuki, when they came out in Super, they sounded all so amazing. And, like, Makoto and Dudley sound, turned out to be, like, terrible. So yeah. if Rolento sounds bad, maybe he'll turn out to be great. Maybe. Or maybe he'll turn out maybe to be, be super be awful. So horrible. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. We'll yeah. see. And, okay, so let's, before we close out, just talk. Oh, we have to talk about the overall game change, Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, um, so Red Focus, you can do EX Red Focus Cancel requires a full bar. It's because it's two for the red focus, two for the cancel, but level one will crumple. So on cancel, on cancel, level one crumples. On empty, so regular red focus does not crumple at level one. EX red focus crumples at level one. Uh-huh. So that means Bison can walk up and do stand fierce crumple into ultra if he chooses to use his whole meter wow so it's actually useless for most characters because if they're gonna do that they might as well do standing fierce into super which will probably do more damage uh-huh. in the long run right and you get to save your ultra uh-huh. so really if you think about it it helps charge characters which is fine because charge characters are kind of asked out in this game already right so if it helps like if if Guile has his whole meter and you whiff an uppercut and he really wants to go up to go standing fierce, red focus, cancel, ultra, go ahead. You know, I mean, honestly, that's fine. Because everyone else is going to walk up and super you. Right. right. So who cares? Okay. So I actually don't mind that too. I actually okay. kind of like that in the end. Because okay. like I said, it takes the whole bar. So. Yeah. And, and as far as red focus goes, I saw you talking with other people as to like how, how exactly red focus absorbs like whether it's based on move yeah, count or total uh, damage yeah because people have seen like few things beat it but yeah. then other people have seen like it like people absorb ridicu- all of patriot circle for example <laughs> yeah. so but what someone said is that it might also just be because when it releases it can't absorb anymore oh yeah so if you go low short low short low short low short low short as soon as he lets go he gets hit right so or he or she gets hit so there's delayed wake up you activate it by holding any two buttons when in hard knockdown uh, is it any two buttons? That's what Kim says. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's what Kim says. So, uh, it's only on hard knockdown, right? Which is interesting. Dude, this seems so weird to me. Why didn't you just make it so that there's no hard knockdown? Why don't you just make it so that everything is quick rise a, no- a knockdown and it's you can quick rise? <laughs> Rather than like adding in this new feature, right? Doesn't that seem weird? Yeah, you're right. Seems like it would have been right. like, way easier to just... Just make it so you can quick rise off of everything, right? Yeah. Just forget this hard knockdown. Because the hard knockdown concept, if you really think about it, is kind of the problem. Yeah. Because then it gives you the guaranteed vortex and all this stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're going to make an alternate on the on a, knock, on a hard knockdown, why not just make it the early one? <laughs> I don't know. I, but this is a delayed one, right? So it's the yeah. opposite. Rather uh-huh. than a quick rise, it's a delayed rise. But I also heard the difference, though, is really short. Right. Which is what makes it good, right? Because if the difference was long, then, it, then dive kick character would be like, right. whoop, whoop. But I heard the difference is actually really short. So, okay. So it's, it's enough to throw people off. How much is this going to change the game? I mean, it's kind of nice that it only happens on the hard knockdowns because then it doesn't affect the regular knockdown. Yeah. So that part of the game is the same. So I actually kind of approve of the fact that they decided to do it on hard knockdowns only. Yeah. But I'm more. I'm still worried that it might hurt some of the mediocre characters more than yeah. the, than the good characters. So. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So final thoughts on all this business that we're talking about? I'm, all these changes? I mean, I, it's it's still in flux. It's got to be in flux. In gotta fact, um, someone mentioned on the chat very early on that Ayano said that the game was sixty five percent done at the test. 
and then thirty five percent was going to be all people feedback. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, I hope you're right that they just said, you know what, let's just make Zangief really bad and see how it works. You yeah, know? we're going to have like this amazing Hakan, a terrible Geef. We're going to have <laughs> all these buffs to Oni and Jury and yeah. Ken, and, and we're going to have Viper. Viper and, yeah, exactly. Yeah, World Nerf Adon. Like, yeah, yeah so I, that, that's what I think. But um, also, just another thing too is that. I mean, I'll reiterate this again. Um, yeah, I understand that being OCD is not conducive to balance necessarily, but Capcom games have always been the strongest to me because they always run off of the engine. Hmm. You know what I mean? They always have these rules, but then they because the rules are not so character specific all the time, it lends itself to the creativity. It lends itself to the variety, right? So for example, the reason why Marvel is so free form compared to a lot of other games is because the chain combo system is you can delay it. It's just in the order of the buttons. You know what I mean? Whereas in a game like Injustice, all the chain combos are fixed. Right, you just have these specific chain combos. So, I mean, I still think it's better to try to adhere to a lot of the game systems and try not to break mm -hmm. them as much. I still think DJ canceling his super into only Ultra One is really stupid. It is really for example, stupid. For example, so I would still like to see them try to adhere to the game systems while trying to balance the game. But yeah. not, not going to happen. Not going to happen. No, it's not. So, yeah. whatever. It's okay. So. Yeah, it's not. Uh, as far as what I want to see, I just want to see what the next step in, in balance is going to be. I want to see how much they are going to pay attention mm -hmm. to what people say. Right, right, um, right. I, and, I, and I hope it's a lot. I hope that they do pay a lot of attention mm -hmm. um, to what the feedback is. Uh, I know that at the Japanese location tests, you could fill out a little form with like your thoughts. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there were people at the location test who Kim, I think, described as, like, being obviously foreign. I don't know what that means, but he was like, they're obviously foreigners. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and they were sitting in the back of the room, and they were taking notes. Mm -hmm. And they were chatting people up occasionally, like, asking them, what do you think about, you know, the, the, the people from Capcom were asking people who were there to test, what do you think about this, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like they are trying to do a good job of okay. Okay. listening to people, and, and uh, I hope that's the case. Yeah, yeah, I mean... All right, well... Location test this weekend. Yeah. Uh, we not 100% sure if it's streamed, but uh, they Don't asked know. us to be there, so I got to imagine it would be streamed. Probably. So I mean, that's my we'll guess. See. I'm um, probably not going to make it there. It happens to be Thanksgiving weekend in America, yeah. and I'm going to a Thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. <laughs> Three different Thanksgiving dinners. It's going to be like... Um, if I'm still alive on Monday, I'll be happy. <laughs> You're gonna be like ultra ultra right? David, yeah. yeah. But um, I'll follow me on Twitter at Jay Chenzor. If if anything streams from there, I'll tweet it out. Yeah, I'll yeah. tweet it out because I'll I'll, pro I'll probably be there on Friday. Okay. Saturday, probably not the whole time, just because I really need time to myself to do other things, not just sit there and play Street Fighter all day. Yeah, right? so, yeah. Um. Also, um, DreamHack is this weekend, so there's a big tournament going on. Uh, in Europe, they will also have the location test there, so mm -hmm. hopefully we'll be able to get some extra feedback from there. Yep. So, yeah, lots of good stuff. Yep, we'll see. Okay. Did you want to talk about anything else right now? I just, that? no. Killer Instinct came out. Yeah, I still want to get my hands on it. I haven't played it. Anyone out there who lives in SoCal willing to let me borrow it for a few uh, days? We're, we're planning to have Godspeed from... Um, well, he's been playing Injustice, but he actually did a lot of work on Killer Instinct. He play tested it and whatnot. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, we're planning to have him come by on Monday and do the whole basics thing. Oh, uh, okay. This Monday? Yeah. This so basically no adequate adventures. We're just going to do a regular Monday show then. Okay. Okay. Yep, we'll have characters and stuff, and at that'll least be the first time. There's only six characters. Right? So you could be guaranteed not to go until midnight like right? we do all the time. Yeah. Man, I can't... Exactly. Like, I keep asking people, like, please, look into whether you can, like, plink, or look into whether... Right, like, right. look into whether you can try to break two strengths simultaneously mm -hmm. and people are like oh we'll check it out. but but i asked so gilly is like the testing master right? yes 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 yes. but there are no sticks yet all he has is a pad and <laughs> right. he was like i'm not going to test anything until i have a stick right right we so. should actually talk to maximilian and see if he'd be willing to come out here as well okay i know he's got a stick right he's got a does K he yeah he has a ki stick 
So um, we should definitely ask him to see if he comes by because I don't, I don't think there's anybody who knows the game. You know, there's a few people obviously who have played a lot, but he's definitely one of the people who knows it more than anyone else. So. Justin Wong won the KI Nationals mm -hmm. that happened. And then I heard they played online and Maximilian destroyed. Justin, I watched a little so. bit of that. Yeah, I watched a little too. So it looked cool. My fears are still in place. Totally in intact. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I was like, Flo, this doesn't seem like they're footsies in this game because i was watching like uh -huh. i was watching like wolverine versus ibuki in that game right. and uh and wolverine is like doing dash into crouching l and ibuki is like double jumping around and throwing webs and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. Um, anyway and he was like yeah this matchup doesn't have footsies but he actually said that he likes it a lot so far because it's very it, mind games it's well no he, he says that actually they're the footsies thing comes into it a lot. That it's just oh, really? it, it was that matchup that I happened hmm. to watch at that period of time, and then I I texted him and he was like, "It's just this one matchup, dude." Yeah. So yeah, I okay. mean, the other thing about it is like the game has very little consequence right now. Like every time you hit somebody, it's like I don't feel like it's like great hit because you can always break the combo. You know what dude, I mean? Did you see Elliver's description of it? No. He said. It's like if I dunk a basketball over you and then we play rock, paper, scissors to see whether it counts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Which I thought that was funny. Yeah. But, but yeah. I mean, honestly, anyway, like, yeah, like I, said, just, I really want to play seriously. it. I really yeah. want to play it. I yeah, really want to play it. So, yeah. Me too. Oh, anyways. Me too. Yeah, we'll make sure to keep the, uh, <sighs> the connect. The connect will be uh, covered in the toilet bowl and as we do that. So. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Just ask him not to bring it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah. no connect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, okay, so we're going to sign off for tonight. That'll be on Monday. Look for our Almost Adequate Adventures featuring Super Turbo to be up tomorrow, and this show will probably yeah, be up six, on Thursday. Uh, six hours of Super Turbo. I mean, what game do you want to do next, actually? Uh, guys, just tweet us. Let us know what you want. And new games, old games. I still want to do Marvel because I have all sure. these teams that I want to test yeah. and stuff like that. But, uh if there's anything else that you guys want to see, like old games as well, so just let us know. Tweet at Ultra Chen TV. So okay, well, okay. thanks for sticking with us. All right, peace out, everybody.